The title of the exhibition comes from uh, a term from the Middle Ages, the devil in music. Um, and it's a term that was just used to describe an interval, two notes, or the relationship between two notes. And the popular imagination, and especially the church, found this relationship, this dissonance between these two notes so disagreeable that um, it was banned in all music. It's to a certain extent about the way an abstract thing like two notes or an abstract form can be invested with all of our superstitions and subjectivities. The piece, uh, which is called Diabolus in Musica, it is a physical architectural expression of the two notes, but it also um, forces your body into, the, into a relationship with the architecture. What seem to be drawings all around the wall, uh, it's like a frieze with various objects interrelated, guns, uh, skulls, uh, it's not all violent, there's also the music tuning forks, uh, coloured pencils, but in fact they're not drawings, they are the real objects uh, which I've simply sliced through. Uh, in, in the way that like, Gordon, Gordon Matter Clark sort of slides through a building, uh, it's like every little object has the potential to be also just sliced through, um, like half of it ceases to exist. The projection that we're looking at here is an animation that I made with uh, 550 uh, kids from the south of France. I cut every image separately, if you like, from the, from the sequence. Each image I gave to a separate child um, with the instructions. Snow White comes back in all possible forms, you know, come, sometimes she's covered with scars and holding daggers and sometimes she's a bee woman or a fairy, it's, you know, every possible childish interpretation of her. Every single line of the song uh, goes between a different Snow White, so it starts in 1938 in French and it finishes in 2003, I think, in, in English or a very late English version. It's not really about making the, uh, the object that you envisage, it's about having a, a reason um, I think um, it's in King John that uh, Shakespeare says, uh, good reasons make good actions. And I think that's kind of an underlying principle for me in art.